So next, let's learn how to edit and style the buttons on your website. Buttons are the places on your website where you want people to click on to get to the next page. So for example, here we have a button saying explore, but for now we're just gonna delete this one and create a new button from scratch. So let's right click on this and click on delete. And now to add a new button element, we're gonna go to the nine dots right here. And then from here, we're gonna drag in the button element below this text right here. So now what we're gonna try to do is to style this button to look exactly like this button right here, which is on the official wordpress.org website. So let's go back to our page builder and click on our button. And this will open up the options for this button again here on the left side. And we can see the same tabs as with the other elements. We have the content tab, the style tab, and the advanced tab. So let's start again with the content tab. First of all, for the type, we're just gonna leave it at default. And then for the text, we wanna change it to get WordPress because that's what our other button says here that we tried to emulate. And then we always wanna add a link to our buttons so that when people click on it, it will actually go somewhere. So here under link, let's say we wanted to go to the contact page. So we can just type in contact and then we can see the contact page right here. So we click on it and this will take the URL of our contact page to this field. Then we can also add icons to our button, but we don't have any icons here. So we're also not gonna add it to our button. So now let's switch to the style tab. And here let's start with the alignment. So we wanna have the button in the center. So I'm gonna click on center right here. Then let's look at the typography. So here it kind of looks like this is some kind of Arial font. So we're gonna add that as well. So let's go back here. Then under typography, let's click on the pen icon. And then we're gonna change the family to Arial. And I think that looks a bit more like the button that we have on the other website. Then for the size, we can change that right here. I think this looks good. Then I think the text is a bit bolder here. So I'm gonna change the weight as well to let's say semi-bold. Then we also wanna change the spacing between the letters. So here the spacing is a bit too big. So we're gonna to go to letter spacing and decrease it to something like this. And that's it for the typography. So let's click on the pen icon again to close the settings here. So now let's look at the colors for this button. And we can see that the text is already white, which is good, but we do wanna change the background color of this button to a blue to make it look like this button here. So let's go to color and then here click on this icon and then let's go to the blue colors right here and just try to find the color that looks like the one on the other page. I think this kind of looks like this color. And then when we go back here, we can also see that when we hover over this button, then the color changes and gets a bit darker. And that's called the hover effect when you hover over the button. And that's something we can also add. So let's go back here and then click out of the color picker or actually let's go back in it and then just copy our color code right here. This is uh, defining the exact color we have here. So let's just right click and copy this. And then let's change from normal to hover, then go to the color settings again. Then we're gonna first paste in the color we already have into this field down here. Just right click and paste. And then we just wanna make it a bit darker. So we're just gonna drag this into the darker area here. And now we can see that when we hover over the button, the color changes and gets a bit darker as well. So now we're done with the colors and we can move on to the overall shape of the button. And when we go back here, we can see that this button has a bit of a different shape than what we currently have. So we wanna go back here and then play around with the padding. So let's scroll all the way down here in the style tab and then go to padding. I'm first gonna unlink these values here so I can set individual values for each of the sides. And first we're gonna do the left and the right side. So let's do the right side. Let's say, let's try 20 pixels or let's try 25. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the left side. And then maybe let's try and add 20 to the top or maybe 15. 
and then the same thing for the bottom 15. Let's go back and see. Yeah, I think a bit more, maybe 17 would look more like this other button. 17 here as well. And I think that looks pretty good. Now we also wanna look at the edges. So here we can see it has a bit rounded edges. Here we can see it. And we can also add that, so let's go back. And then here under border radius, we can just add the values here. And by adding this, we can see that the radius here increases. So we can make that uh, really intense. So we can have kind of this pill looking button, but we wanna have it to look like exactly like the other button. So I think three pixels looks pretty good. And that's basically how you can create any type of button on your page.